Welcome to another Dragon Ball Z figure review. I know it's been a uh, very, very long time since I've done any Dragon Ball figure reviews, and I have a ton of them to do, and uh, they seem to be high demand for whatever reason. But today we are going to be looking at the uh, Dragon Ball GT Super Battle Collection number uh, 35 with uh, Super Saiyan Sun Gohan and Goten this is a two pack so that's why we're going to be doing both of these at once now for taking a look, these are the some of the original J uh, Japanese figures some of the first to ever be made and just compare them to uh, one of my favorite Goku figures, also from the Super Battle Collection line, a perfect Goku. So they are in the uh, about the same scale with one another. So let's take a look at Gohan first. And by GT, he is a adult scholar. You can see by his very dorky glasses. And as with all, basically all Super Battle Collection figures, they only really have arm articulation and sometimes head articulation. Not often though. Only these because you can swap with the heads. But even then, these are still pretty darn good figures. They look very accurate to the characters they represent. The color, for the most part, is pretty accurate and is the... The scale with a new is usually pretty cool. And uh, this one's one of my favorites. Why? I don't know. Because it's, you really, when you think of Gohan, you don't think of him like this. And uh, with his glasses, you can actually take them off. But the only bad thing about that is um, he kind of will have a plug in the middle of his head, forehead now. So I usually just tend to leave the glasses on. And of course, it is a Super Saiyan Gohan figure. He comes with his Super Saiyan head. Just take this head off. And on this one, the entire neck comes off. Uh, as opposed to a Goten figure, the neck does not come off. Take the head and just pop it in place. It is a little difficult sometimes. There you go. And it has the the kind of the gold color that I do like. It's not the brown is bronze gold. This is more of a kind of a natural gold color look. It looks very nice. It is more stern look on him. Hair's not much different, but it is a little bit different. Alright. Now to uh Sun Goten. This, he's a pretty much a full-grown teenager. He is a little bit shorter than Gohan. I'm not sure why. Uh, his Only his arms articulate. He has a kind of a Goku goofy expression on his face. And his hair is a little bit weird. It just kind of goes whoosh, off to the side. And the, his, the colors are a little bit nauseating with a green shirt with a yellow outline and purple pants this is this is socially acceptable this is not <sighs> but anyway he does of course come with now this is the way I got it many years ago I bought it online the paint on one of his eyebrows is missing so that kind of is a bummer and uh, some paint on his on the very tip of his nose is missing too. So yeah, taking the head, putting the heads on the, this one is a little bit more of a pain in the ass because uh, it's it, like uh, unlike the Gohan figure, the neck stays on the figure. I'm not sure if it's because of that that makes it so difficult, especially putting this head on. It is. It, it it takes a a lot of force. I mean, before prior to doing this review, 
I spent probably about a good five minutes trying to put this head back on. So, put this head back on. I mean, I like the idea of being able to swap out heads, but I mean, it definitely saves money somewhere along the line on both consumer and uh, manufacturer. But they got they had to have been a, thought of a better way to do that. So yeah, there he is with a uh, paint off his nose. Look, looks kind of goofy like that. Do I recommend these figures? To an extent, I mean, if you're a diehard Dragon Ball fan and you want, I mean, real Japanese figures, then yeah, because these are, they're, they really don't make any other uh, figures from any other series in this, from, of these characters from, from GT like this. And it, it pre pretty much goes well with any other Dragon Ball Z figure set. Especially if you have this Goku here. This is really neat. I do recommend this set. I'm not sure how rare or expensive this set is now. I probably should have looked before him, but there may be some on eBay because these are a little bit old, so they may be a little bit hard to come by, but if you're a diehard Dragon Ball, especially a Japanese fan, I think they're well worth it for any any uh, pure collector out there. Uh, until next time, thank you for watching.